we are going to do a makeup tutorial while I'm in Spain. I've been traveling for the last three weeks, so I've been living out of a makeup bag. I wanted to share with you my routine that I've been going to for five minutes with minimal product because I find, you know, when I'm traveling, I don't get crazy with the looks unless it's like an evening for dinner, a family event, something like that. But this is just for the daily to throw on before I head out the door and I feel like this is great if you're running late for work for a young girl before school minimal makeup people this is my minimal five minute makeup routine let's get into it and I wanted to share with you the products that I've been loving as well recently while I've been traveling so the first this one just launched from nude sticks it's the nude barrier hydrating stick I use this on my skin and my lips because I am used to the Miami humidity. I am not used to this dry, cold weather in Maryland and Spain. Uh, so this has been great for instant hydration. So it's just a big fat stick. I'm gonna let the product sit on my lips. And then I notice under my eyes right here is where the real dryness is. So I'm just using my fingers and applying this right on the spot. It's a little thick and leaves a little bit of a sticky consistency behind. I think it's really great for airport travel because it just sticks on the skin. But for every day, like today where I'm putting makeup on top, I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it into the areas that really need it. But when I was on my flights, this was in my bag and I was globbing it all over. Then I go straight to eyebrows. I do pretty minimal work in the eyebrows, but I feel like eyebrows frame the face. They are so important. So I'm going to use one of my favorite brow products, the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And so I'm going to use the big side, the long bristle side to blend up. And then I'm going to flip it because there's a smaller bristle side. And this one helps really direct the hairs. I like mine to look a little bit on the fluffy side. Here's the magic of this brow product. There's a flat side and I'm just going to use that to press and set the brows to get them to go where I want them to. And this just lays the brow down. And I'm just going to go ahead and let these dry. We're not done with the brows yet, but we're going to make the most out of our time. Concealer. The Gucci Beauty Concealer. I know it's expensive, but it is amazing for natural quick makeup because it has almost like a powder-like dry down, so you don't even need to set. I haven't been setting my face when I've been using this, which is perfect with it being winter as well. I don't really want to set my face too much. And I'm just going to apply this right here where I have the blue areas. The big thing when it comes to minimal makeup like this is you want to focus on the areas that make the biggest difference. So I have a little bit of redness right here. I have a nice zit right there. And then my cheeks and my nose get pretty red. So I'm applying some concealer on those areas as well. And I'm using my BK Beauty A506 brush. And I'm just going to press the product in. The reason why I'm using a brush over a sponge is I was very intentional of where I wanted my concealer to go because I needed color in those specific areas because there's a discoloration so the brush just keeps the coverage and the reason i put some color on my cheeks is just to blend right over that and it's going to blur over the redness obviously you can use any concealer for this step but i did want to highlight the gucci concealer is one of my favorites for no makeup makeup because it's so skin-like since it's not too glowy and you save time by not really needing to set. Get my nose. And this video is obviously going to be more than five minutes because I'm talking, but trust, I can get it done fast when I need to. And then don't forget the zit. Might need to use your finger for that one. The tip for zit coverage is to almost not touch the actual zit itself, but to blend everything around it. Oh, I forgot how affected my skin gets in the winter. So dry. Oh, I can't stand it. Okay, we're gonna move back to the eyebrows since they've dried. I do have a couple sparse areas on my brow, so I'm just gonna take whatever brow pencil. I'm just using 
the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Pencil since this is what I traveled with. And I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas, which is going to be right here for me. So you want to make sure the brow gel is completely dried so you don't accidentally reshape your brows. But I find that this saves a lot of time to do the brow gel first and then the pencil if you have enough brow hairs to work with. Saves so much time too. So I just did that little bit because normally for like full face days, I'll do the brow filling in first, but for every day, it's just not necessary. Okay, my favorite part, blush is a must. This whole vacation, I've been using the e.l.f. Camo liquid blushes and I am loving them. I reviewed them last week and I said I would let you know. I've been wearing this all the time in Spain. Amazing. This is in the shade Suave Mauve, but I'm gonna go and say yes. This is a complete dupe of the Rare Beauty and I don't use that word lightly. Maybe the itty bittiest, slightly less pigment than the Rare Beauty blushes, but you guys know those are crazy and I'm not even mad about that. But all of the e.l.f. blushes, they have a dewy finish. Not all of the Rare Beauty does. Rare Beauty has a little bit more variety and shade range and finish, but that's okay. This is e.l.f.'s first launch. I just love this and I know I used to wonder why do we use concealer and foundation to block out the redness just to add more? It's different when it's done on your own terms and the placement is just much more even and pretty. So I've been doing that and not setting. This is it for the complexion and with the concealer evening out all of the uneven areas that were the most prominent and then a little bit of blush to add some color back into the face. You look so much more put together. Okay, eyes. Number one must do, curl the lashes. This is a rougher lash curler, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. As you know, I have really straight down eyelashes. They don't like to curl, so sometimes I don't even put on mascara. The only way the curl will hold is if I don't put anything on it. So I find that sometimes it looks even better not to put any mascara on because just the curl like this alone really opens up my eyes but if you have really nice natural lashes i definitely recommend mascara but on my super quickie days i don't even and i can't believe that i think for today i'm just gonna pop on some elf lash extenders since we are doing a video i'll go the extra mile but i'm not gonna apply too much i don't want the layer to be too heavy to weigh my lashes down just a little bit of black to make them a little bit more visible or if you had some powder that flew onto them makeup on there so we'll darken them up but not weigh the lashes down too much minimal mascara just enough to darken them up but still light enough to keep the curl and we're gonna finish off with the lips just get a neutral toned lip liner or something that's pinky. Um, one of my favorites is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2. I didn't bring that. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner from the Dirty Pillows collection. I'm just going to wipe off the excess nude sticks and just a little bit around the edges to give my lips more of a full look. I've been loving this lip liner and I know they launched more colors of these. I'm so excited because they're only $2 but this color is so nice and natural but makes the lips look a little bigger. And then the last thing that we're doing, I'm using the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I am giving you guys whiplash with my opinions on this. But I liked this, but I wasn't loving it as much. I didn't think it was worth the money because this is like one of the more expensive products like this. However, I will say this is the one that I brought to Spain. And my lips have been drier than ever before. I think I'm in love with this again because I didn't realize this since my lips don't get this, this dry in Miami. When my lips are like peeling crackly, putting this on top is like instant relief to my lips and it stays on a long time so i find that if i have crackly gross lips just putting this on is a remedy to those so i'm so sorry to give you whiplash and i still think this is way too expensive for what it is but oh my gosh this is so handy in dry winter weather it really is good for super dry chapped lips just sitting on there and soothing them and making them feel softer. I still like the road better. I just didn't bring it. I've just brought this one. 
but uh, my love for this has gone up a little bit more. I definitely need to test the road against this. But anyways, I love this because it's clear, so it doesn't add any extra color, but it kind of smooths over the lips as a plump, and it works really well with the lip liner to make my lips look more plump, make them stand out more against my face, but still have that very, very, very natural look. And that's it, that is my everyday quick five minute makeup routine that I have been wearing almost every day that I've been in Spain and in Maryland while visiting my family. And I just think it makes me look much more put together. It evens my skin out. I wanted to share this routine just to remind you that you don't need to do a full face. You can still get a really put together look in five minutes. I hope this inspired you. If you are running late to work tomorrow, here you go. Use these techniques. You can do this literally in the car. It's that easy. And I hope I gave you some really great product recommendations as well because these have been so handy dandy while I've been traveling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Share your five minute makeup routine down below. What products are you using? What products are you skipping out on? Because everybody has different preferences. Some people absolutely cannot skip eyeliner. Some people cannot skip lipstick. Some people cannot skip foundation. So it is all about curating what you think makes the biggest difference in yourself and what gives you the most confidence. But for me, concealer and blush, I feel like it's all I need to give my skin that confidence. A little bit of glow on the lips, a little bit of curl of the lashes, a little bit of brows, and I'm good to go. Bye guys, have a good one.